Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Bath & Body Works haul to share with you. It's my last haul from SAS. Before we get started, I'm gonna share with you guys what I have all over my lips is Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the color Primrose. I've worn this quite a few times. You guys know how much I love it. That is what I'm wearing all over my lips. And as you probably saw, I have nothing on my nails because I just need a little break and swatching a lot lately. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. I'm so, so happy. I want to thank you all for being here on this channel and on this journey with me. On Mondays, we do Manny Mondays and we talk about nail polish. On Wednesdays, of course, we talk about wax, a lot of Bath & Body Works, as well as some other little things. I have a video coming up about my cat. I want to do my updated Starbucks mug collection. And on Fridays, I do Fragrance Friday, which has to do with personal fragrance. So anything that makes you smell good, that's on Friday. This is my last SAS haul for summer 2024. I didn't go nuts, but what I did see, and I was very intrigued, was that the day before the sale was supposed to technically end, they put out on the website a whole bunch of new candles at the prices of the sale. I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> like, so we got some new new, as well as some repurchases that I love so much that when I saw it, they finally went on sale, I scooped them up. So we'll talk about that as well. First things first is I received a $10 off 40 code. We know how much we love these. It's $10 off of 40 and that's wonderful. But what sucks is when you have to put a code in if there's a sale going on and you can't use this code because you can only use one. It's a great little thing to have. I just wish they would give you a little bit more, like 20% off would be really, really good. Those are like coveted. Anyway, let's start off with the soaps. I bought three soaps, but two of them are the same. So the very first soap is Bridgerton Study, and this one is described as smooth amber, oak wood, and dried orchids. These are really lovely. If you guys have seen some previous hauls that I have made, you guys know how much I love Oh, the scent. This is really nice. Now, the soap smells a little different than the candle, and we will get there because there, that might be the repurchase, but it smells really good for soap. I think I'm going to feel really rich using this hand soap. These are the foaming hand soap too, I should add. I prefer the foaming. I feel like I use it all up. I love these. Glad I picked those up. And the only other soap I did pick up because your girl made another online purchase haul and she may have ordered like 12 new soaps, so I don't know where I'm going to put all of these. But back to the last soap that I got in this haul and the other haul will come when the items get here but we have mango papaya paradise so this one is awesome the notes on this one is succulent mango golden papaya and warm tropical breeze yeah yeah i would like that that would be great this is summer in a bottle i really want to bust this one open probably in august i want the juiciest of juicy hand soaps for the month of august i don't know why that's my birth month basically anything i really want is gonna go out in august when doesn't it actually <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the item I did repurchase. Um, actually, there's a couple items I repurchased, but this one I purchased two more because I love it so much. This reminds me of a very expensive perfume and I will explain in a moment. These candles were originally in Canada, $32.95. They're just candles, but they were marked down during the sale at the very end. I posted on my Instagram about how the Bridgerton collection that was $32.95 Canadian got marked down. I think it was $13.95 or $12.95. I can't remember now, but I ran because I mean, even two of these this one was not the price of one <laughs> originally. So I had to get more backups of my Bridgerton study. Of course, matches the hand soap. And again, I think this, the scent notes are about the same. Smooth amber, oak wood, and dried orchids. Now they smell different. This one, in my last video that I talked about this, it smells like Initio's side effect, which is a very lovely niche fragrance. It's powerful, it's potent, it's so good. Like I love it. This is what it reminds me of. A little tobacco, a little bit of vanilla, a little bourbon, a little bit of everything, even though it's not on the notes. There's some spices in there and everything I love about Side Effect, I love about this. And I did burn one of these and she was so strong, which it should be because it's strong to start with. I ended up picking up two of them because I really love them and I wanted to have lots of them. And when they were on for like 65, 70% off, it's original price, I scooped it up. 
The other repurchase I made, and I haven't burned this one yet because it's very gourmand, it's just getting over the winter, and I'm like, oh, I'll bring this one out next fall, like late fall, is the Hanukkah candle. I, first of all, love the blue. The blue is a beautiful color. I don't feel it gets utilized enough. Pillowy fried dough, sweet jelly filling sprinkled with powdered sugar. This is a gourmand. As I mentioned, it is beautiful. It smells like a donut with lots of powdered sugar on it. It smells delicious. I'd like to burn that one towards the like probably October when the weather is cooler and I want nothing but the gourmands all around me. Technically this is a repurchase too, but I think I purchased this one last year at the SAS as well. So I haven't bought one of these since like the summer of 2023's SAS. This is the tree farm candle. And this one here is really great. I don't have a real tree. In fact, I use a faux tree. Crisp pine needles, warm cedar and spiced apple. Oh, it is beautiful. I love burning this. Like I said, when a Christmas tree goes up, burn this along the side. It makes it feel like it's a real tree, you know, without all the needles falling everywhere. Not a new candle to me, but new packaging repackaged. is Fiji White Sands. I have had this candle a few times in my lifetime. This one is described as fresh cut sugar cane, white nectar, and sandalwood. Oh, this is so good. This is very pretty, white floral, and sweet. Even for someone like me who isn't into florals terribly, I think this is an amazing candle and I'm looking forward to burning this one. Fiji White Sands, this is again, not a new candle, but it does have some new packaging, which is kind of interesting. We're very much going back to my age category of ancientness. I was born in the 70s, so some things are looking very um, 70s inspired. And last but not least, I have my last candle to share with you and <laughs> I'm a little disappointed by this one, not gonna lie. It's Cafe Latte. <laughs> so again, this really interesting packaging, right? Like you see here, it's very ornate. Bold espresso beans and vanilla sweet cream with caramel drizzle. It smells like caramel, 100%. I don't get the vanilla and I definitely don't get coffee. I am very disappointed. I wanted it to smell like coffee and all I could smell is sweet, sweet, ooey gooey, too over the top. And I got two of them. <laughs> Yay. But apparently there's supposed to be another candle coming out this fall that is coffee, like an espresso. If that comes out, I definitely want to get that and a few of them because I love coffee scents. I love burning them. I love melting them on weekends, days off, that kind of thing. I love that scent thrown around our home. It's just a beautiful, very relaxing, have yourself your own cup of coffee kind of moment. All right, guys, that was everything. I have another order on its way. It, I just got notified on its shipping. It took a really long time. We just had a long weekend here in Canada. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put these hand soaps. The candles I have spots for, because you know I'm not going to two nuts, but the soaps, I'm having a really hard time figuring out where I'm gonna put them all because there's a lot and I'm running out of storage. Just, uh, just a little bit. All right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys. Let's pretend this isn't my life. Let's pretend it was a great night. Let's pretend that it was real nice. Uh. Let's pretend that it's a movie. Let's pretend that it's a story. Let's pretend that it was glory. Yeah.